I wonder what those pointy teeth are for. Uh-oh. Hippo fight! That must be why they have those teeth. To protect themselves and their territory. Tengo dientes puntiagudos. Lily, you speak another language? What a surprise! Yep, that was Spanish. What did you say? I said, I have pointy teeth. <laughs> <laughs> I could say that in loud, too. Que yo coit Liam. Wow, wow. You know, that's great. <gasps> Hippos really move fast. Hippos can actually run faster than people. That's surprising. They're so big. Prize, prize. Knock our socks off, buddy. Whoa! Nash is an acrobat. I didn't know he could do that. Surprising. Oh, yeah? Well, how about this? Nice bum skating, Marco. Another surprising thing that one of us can do. <laughs> Thanks. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Surprise! I like how they can keep their whole body underwater, with just their nose and eyes sticking out so that they can breathe and see. That one was totally underwater. They must be able to hold their breath for a while. Hippos can stay underwater for up to five minutes at a time. And they can even sleep underwater and automatically come up to breathe without waking up. Wow! Oh, amazing! Hey, look! Oh. Whoa! That hippo was really swimming fast! Wait a minute! Is it really swimming? Whoa! Wait till you see this! It's running! Underwater! It's called an underwater gallop. Like a horse's gallop? Exactly. Now that's a surprise. Surprise! Yes. In fact, the word hippopotamus means river horse. That is oh, cool. that. Hippos are really surprising animals, aren't they? Well, what about you, Chester? What's the most surprising thing that you can do? Well... Okay, no swimming with giant otters because they might attack us. Let's take a look underwater. Yeah! Whee! This doesn't look so bad except for that stick. That's not a stick. It's a creature, a deadly one too. It's an electric eel. An eel that's electric? Seriously? How is that even possible? Electric eels have special body parts that make electricity. They need this to help them hunt prey and defend themselves. What's that? Oh no, there's another one! That's not an eel, that's a snake, a ginormous snake. How many things live down here? Well, anacondas do, right Chester? Yep, they're the biggest snakes in the world. They can grow to be as long as a school bus. That's big. Do they bite? No. They coil their bodies around their prey and drag them into the water to eat them. Cool. But no swimming with anacondas. Absolutely yeah. not. No. How about here? It looks beautiful. No giant otters, no electric eels, no anaconda. <gasps> Ooh, fishy, fishy. Little fishies. Brana with the sharp teeth that can eat whole animals super fast? Yes, but these red piranhas bark to warn other creatures to stay away from them. Woof, woof, woof. Cute otters that don't want to play? Eels with electricity? Giant anaconda snake that squeezed their prey? And barking piranha fish? The Amazon River doesn't seem like a good place to swim. Yeah, but this is where they live. 
their home, not ours. The Amazon belongs to the creatures that live here. Sorry, Lily. Oh, I don't care about the rain. If only I could find some place to swim. If I could just find one place, any place to go swimming today. Well, how about this? I was working on the robo umbrella, but then it started to rain and it turned into a swimming pool. Yay! Thank you, Willa. Cannonball! <laughs> Who wants to play Marco Polo? Perfect place. Let's dig. Uh, 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 very, very gently. Cover up the roots so it has a chance to grow. Oh. <gasps> yep, that tree is a goner. But maybe we can replace it with a tree that's just like it. How would we do that? There's probably another tree like the sapling growing here somewhere. And maybe it would have seeds. So we could plant those. Yay! Which tree is it? So many trees. Trees of the same species have the same kind of leaves. So, if we could find a tree with the same leaf, it would be the same kind of tree. It's sort of long. With some squiggly edges. One, two... Three, four, five, six, seven. There are eight tips on each leaf. And there's a line down the middle that ends in the stem. I think I found it. It looks like it's an oak leaf. So we're looking for an oak tree. Polos, let's go on a tree hunt. Yeah! The leaf is just as long, but doesn't have squiggly edges. This has the edges, but fewer tips. Got it! It's got the same edges, the same number of tips, and the same line down the middle. Uh, it's littler. That's because this is a big tree and our sapling is a young tree. That's the one. Now all we have to do is find a seed. Acorns? Are those the seeds? Right. Oak trees grow from acorns. Look! Wow! Sweet! Poor little sapling. Let's try to plant it again. Good Let's idea! Yeah! yeah. Across the land, if you want to grow a tree, just plant a seed. Watch it grow, watch it grow, change the world when you sow seeds of love and hope. Watch it grow. See the earth bright and green, bright the air fresh and clean. Feel the love and hope. Watch it grow. pushing a ball of poop. It looks like a kind of beetle. What would such a little thing want with such a big ball of poop? You don't think it's going to eat it? Ew. Ew! Uh, let's look it up. It's a dung beetle. Dung? What's that? Dung is another word for poop. And yes, it's going to eat it. Yuck! Why? It says here that whenever an animal eats something, not all of it gets digested. Some tiny undigested bits end up in its dung. And that's what dung beetles eat? Yes. They also get water from the dung. Okay. This time I'm going to say it. Eee yuck. Where's it going? Yeah. If they're going to eat dung, why not eat it right here? Yeah, there's plenty. 
They bury it so they can eat it later? And they lay their eggs in the dung balls. It looks like it's working really hard. That ball is huge in comparison to the beetle. Dung beetles are the strongest insect. It can move a ball over a thousand times its weight. That's like you pulling a school bus, Nash. Wow. But that's not all. Dung beetles help the environment of the savannah by burying and eating tons of dung produced by other animals. You mean they help to keep this place clean? Yes. Plus, flies lay eggs and dung. So by eating and burying so much of it, the dung beetles stop the fly eggs from hatching. So, fewer flies. That's amazing. Actually, dung beetles are amazing. Dung beetle, dung beetle, dung beetle, dung beetle, dung beetle, dung beetle. They've got a dirty job that someone's gotta do. They're small but mighty and they're tidy too. We're lucky there's a bug that's willing to lug around so much poop. They go to work every single day with a tumbling dance that looks like play. But if you had to do a job with poo, would you? get older, they're going to become froggies. Some animals like frogs have bodies that change from one form to another as they grow. That's called metamorphosis. Mother frogs lay eggs. When the eggs hatch, tadpoles come out. Tadpoles are baby frogs. Mm. The tadpoles have long tails and live and breathe underwater, just like fish do. Uh-huh, fishies. Yeah. But watch this. As the tadpoles get older, their bodies change. Legs. Right. First, they grow their back legs and then their front legs. And they don't have to stay underwater all the time. They can come out on land. As they change, their tails get shorter and shorter until they look like that. Frogs are so cool. Yeah. Hmm. change form as they grow, but you won't. You'll stay the same as you grow. Just like these animals. You'll just get bigger. No wings. No wings, but a much bigger you. Uh, just Nash? Yeah, always Nash, but bigger. Okay. <laughs> Like it. It would be nice to turn into a lion. Or to grow a tail. Or wings. Now that is cool. But Nash is going to stay Nash. And that's great. He's just going to get bigger. Yeah. Big Nash. See? Whoa. Whoa. It's a really big Nash. <laughs> <laughs> That's right! First stop, everybody out! Wow! Wow! wow. Elephant. Elephants! Cool! The elephant watering hole is my first favorite thing. Good one, Willow! Thanks! And now it's time for my favorite meal, breakfast. I could eat. Let's 
next, Willow? You'll see. The Amazon rainforest? That's right. For my next favorite thing, zip lining oh. through the canopy! Yay! Yeah! Yay. 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 Yeah! Grand Canyon! Woohoo! Who wants breakfast? I know a great place for pancakes. Are we in Alaska? That's right. To see my favorite animal. Polar bears! I can't believe it's still morning. Yeah. We've had breakfast for breakfast. Breakfast for lunch. Breakfast for snack. It's been morning for the whole day. Hmm. And we still haven't surprised Willow. Surprise! <gasps> Autopilot on. Audrey, set course for Earth orbit. Autopilot on. Setting course for Earth orbit. So, how do you like my birthday so far? Isn't it the best birthday ever? It's the longest birthday ever. I know. You want to know why? Yes! Yeah. I'll show you. I'll be the sun and Marco, you be the Earth. Sure. Audrey, lower cabin lights. On the part of the Earth facing the sun, it's day. Yeah, and on the part of the Earth that's facing away from the sun, it's night. The Earth is always turning. Marco, turn slowly in a circle. It takes 24 hours for the Earth to rotate, to go from day to night back to day again. So we started one place where it was morning, the savannah, and kept flying in the same direction, towards morning in another place. Transforming to Polo Galactic. Polo Galactic entering Earth orbit. Ooh. Look, there's Earth. Day on one side, night on the other. Beautiful. My absolutely favorite, favorite place. I think this is the right time. Surprise! Surprise! Wow, Polos, thanks! Happy, Happy birthday, birthday Willow. Willow! Best 